This video is another in the series of how to install and work with multi-site in WordPress. In this video I will show you how to configure the domain mapping plugin. We've already installed the WordPress MU domain mapping plugin. We've moved the file within the plugin on our server. We've edited the WP config file. Now it's time to get into the settings in the network administration area. So the first thing you want to make sure that you do is that you are in the network administration uh, dashboard of your multi-site WordPress installation. And then you're going to go to the settings menu and go to domain mapping. These are the main settings for the domain mapping plugin that we've just installed. And the first thing you need to do is enter in the IP address of your HostGator hosting account or whatever hosting account you have. And you'll find that IP address in the details that HostGator sent you uh, in the welcome email. So our IP starts with 184. I'm going to go ahead and put that IP address in there. And basically what this does is it tells the domain mapping plugin that this is the location of the server that holds your website files. You can ignore the server CNAME domain input box. We won't be using that. And you can leave the domain options set as default. Uh, and uh, you can change any of these if you like. What I like to do is uh, go ahead and tick the permanent redirect. Um, the only reason that you may not want to do this is if you had an existing subdomain on your site that you are now mapping to something else uh, that might mess with your search engine rankings. But for the most part, you will want to tick that, leave the others at the default, and then choose Save. Now that those settings are saved, what we need to do is go into the individual site dashboard and add our mapped domain. So I'm going to go ahead under the Sites menu, choose All Sites. Then I'm going to go to the dashboard of this WP Network Manual subdomain site. And this is the one that I want to point howtomultisite.com to. So I'll click the dashboard. And you can see that I'm now an, in the regular site administrator dashboard area of this site. So what I'll need to do is go to the Tools menu, and there's a new menu item here on the individual site called Domain Mapping. And what this allows me to do is to add a new domain to this subdomain site that I want to map to it. So I'm going to go ahead and enter howtomultisite.com. I want this to be the primary domain name for this blog or this site on my network, and I'm going to choose Add. Now what happens is it shows you that the new domain has been added and it also shows you the active domains on this blog or site on your network. So it shows you the original subdomain site address here and it shows me that I am now mapping howtomultisite.com to this subdomain site. And incidentally you can have as many domains as you like pointing to the same subdomain site if that's your thing. Now, if we look at the front side of the site, it will not work yet. We have one more step to do in cPanel, and then we're finally done. We've got a total mapped domain uh, as soon as we make this one change. What we need to do is go to cPanel and add howtomultisite.com as a part domain on our cPanel account. So we'll go ahead to uh, your HostGator cPanel, go down to the domains section, and we if you remember, we already went into the subdomains area, but now we need to go to the part domains area. Add our domain name, howtomultisite.com. It says, the little green check mark says it's a valid domain. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Add Domain. It says I su I've successfully added it. So I can see it listed here in my parts domains. Now, 
If we go back to our main site here, you'll notice that when I refresh this page, this subdomain site is going to go away. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh the main page, and now you'll see that my domain name is howtomultisite.com, and it's the same exact content that I was at before. Now, if you look in the lower left here and I hover over a page, you'll see that the domain name is still there. The same as if I were to go to a post. The domain name is still there. If I choose that, you're going to see that that domain is now successfully mapped to a subdomain site on my network. Now imagine when you have your list of sites, let me go back to the network admin here. Imagine creating unlimited numbers of sites for unlimited numbers of your projects, your clients, your niche websites, your affiliate sites, whatever you want, and mapping individual domains to those subdomain sites and being able to manage everything all within the same area. Uh, WordPress with multi-site enabled is a truly powerful tool and there is a lot more to learn and uh, there will be more videos coming.